Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We love to share what's happening yes. here in Central Iowa. And one of the uh, big things happening this weekend is happening down there in Madison County. It's the Covered Bridges Festival, celebrating 50 years Huge. this yes. year. And here to tell us all about it, we have Heather Riley. She's with the Madison County Chamber of Commerce. And then we have Julie Fire, who is a co-chair of the Covered Bridge Festival Committee. Welcome this morning, ladies. Yes, Thank you. Morning. Yeah, glad to be here. This is a big one. Everybody talks about the Covered Bridge. It's very uh, famous. I guess you could say. Yes, and, they are. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody looks forward to it. So uh, I know um, there's lots of things that people look forward to every year with the festival, kind of the, the regular thing. So talk about what's what's back and maybe a little bit better than ever this year. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, the things people ask about mostly are Cover Bridge tours and entertainment and food. We have all of that for two whole days, two full entertainment stages with musicians, bands, soloists, dancers, singers, er everything you could want. We have a lot of talent down there. So two days to show showcase them, plus our quilt show, our car show, our parade, a 5K. It, there's something wow, for everyone Wow, it all in and and over these two days. Yeah, lots you pack food. it in. Uh, let's wrap our brains around 50 years of this festival. What does that mean to you, ladies? How yeah, well, the festival started in 1970. It's been going ever since. It just grows. Um, there's lots of community uh, organizations that have been involved, but we've also now, I think we have other folks that come in from outside and set up uh, booths and demonstrations and all kinds of things. So. It's always been a celebration of our, our heritage and our pioneer spirit, and it kind of continues to be that. Yeah, so. I feel like yeah. you guys have a really unique community of people and businesses and just there in Winterset and all of Madison it, it's County. It's beautiful. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely a beautiful community, uh, not only within the square of the town, but beyond with the bridges as well. And we get to celebrate all of that this weekend. And you're asking people to do it through the lens. Uh, talk about uh, that theme for this year. Well, we thought that made sense. We know a lot of people come down to Madison County to take take photos yes. of our covered bridges, of our beautiful courthouse square, of our parks, our landscapes. It's a paradise for photographers anyway. So we thought this is a great time to invite everyone down, youth, adults, professionals, those who would like to be professionals, and give them this as inspiration and take photos and then make it a competition. A exactly, so uh, going into the 50th year, there's some fun new things that you're adding to the festival. So let's talk about those a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, so the photography contest is one of those. We've actually had one before, but that's been a while, so that's, we're considering that new. Um, we <laughs> we'll had, call it new. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and so lots of people take, came, t took pictures, and we have a display of that that will happen at our American Legion Hall. And then there's also a memorabilia display of old photos and things that people have captured through the years, and that's happening out at our historical museum. So like you said, it's not just on the square. It goes off the square, and that's one big area of activity. Um, gosh, what else is new? We have a documentary that was made. Yeah, to, another lens. People yeah, are another through right. the lens. Right. And um, this was footage from previous festival and some other old photos and things that they've cobbled together to make a really neat documentary and they interviewed some of the um, former organizers from 50 years ago and about their memories and so that's something new. Uh, we have a display, a, a veterans display actually celebrating um, Iowa's fallen heroes and some people from our area. That's going to be at our American Legion Hall as well. So. Will there be a few different showings of the documentary, or is it a one-time? Yeah, that's going to happen um, both days, Saturday and Sunday, starting on the hour at 1 o'clock. So 1, 2, 3, and 4 both days and at, it's our, free. at our Iowa Theater, which is a historic uh, yeah, restored I theater. I love your theater down yeah. there. Now talk about because the kind of the star of the festival is the, the bridges. Mm -hmm. So talk about the tours of the bridges themselves and kind of how that works and are there special things that are set up kind of in the area of the bridges or? Yeah, you can buy tickets to take a cover bridge tour hosted by our Rotary Club. Those are for sale on the southwest side of the festival grounds for $10. You get on a bus, you don't have to worry about navigating gravel roads or where you're going, potentially getting lost or whipping up dust or anything mm -hmm. like that. Just let the Rotarians take care of it and they serve as tour guides as well and talk to all the guests about history and mm -hmm. stories and lore. There's yeah. a lot of neat stories from Madison County from George Washington Carver to Susan B. Anthony, John Wayne, of course our covered bridges, George Stout. I mean a lot of historical figures have touched our community which makes this festival really special but you can hear a lot of those stories on covered bridge tours too. Even if you've been going 50 years strong, people might have never been to the festival before. So what do you recommend with so many things going on? Both days, you need to come both, both days, days. obviously, <laughs> to stay, experience Stay, grab a all. suitcase, come and stay for the night, because they've just, it's a wonderful community. But what, how do we start? How do we begin? What do you recommend there people check out? There is a lot to do. And yeah. it always kind of stuns me when someone says they've never been to our festival. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> of all we can there was a visit soul us, in the come state. to the festival. It is so fun. It's on our courthouse square from 9 to 5, Saturday and 
Sunday, I would start there. I'd take a look at our arts and crafts vendors, look at all the entertainment that we have. We have some neat demonstrators. We have a chainsaw carver. We've got um, hit and miss engines, those gas powered hit and miss engines. A lot of people really enjoy looking at those. Um, so I would start there, take a look, and then get on a horse and wagon and drive out to our historical complex. They have a lot of interesting things happening out there. Get on a bus and get a covered bridge tour, come back to the festival grounds, eat some kettle corn and a turkey leg. I mean, there's just so much. And then help us celebrate Cedar Bridge Saturday night with a ribbon cutting. Mm -hmm. So oh, it sounds that. like you just need to come to the square and then you, you can get there. to yeah, all of the out. Because some I think a lot of people, are, how do I get around, you know, and you'd mentioned about having the nice tours and the rides and the shuttles and everything that makes it really nice to be able to actually get out and see everything. Look for an information Easily. booth that's actually kind of shaped like a covered bridge on the square and there's schedules in there and directions where to go and yeah we can show you around show you a good time. Oh it is just a beautiful area and a ton of fun and it's truly a festival like you have so many things going on from food to music to entertainment to beyond uh, it's a festival so come and celebrate this amazing community. Right. Uh, if people want more details they want to know and kind of plan their weekend uh, where's the best place for them to go to get those. I would say madisoncounty.com okay. slash Cover Bridge Festival. And there's a big red button on our homepage and you can go there and um, there it is. schedule and everything. Mm -hmm. Is it on there? Yeah. So that leads you to all the important information. Yep. Lots of things to do and see and experience and it's a wonderful weekend. Okay. And you mentioned that the 5K uh, or the race kind there's of thing. So people can get Saturday still morning. registered you for can. that. Okay. Yes, you can. Oh, I love it. it it's going to be a, a fabulous weekend. So bundle up, go out and enjoy uh, Madison County and everything they have to offer. If you've never visited the bridges, you are missing not only incredible history, but just a gorgeous piece of what Iowa has to offer. That's a yeah. photo opportunity Right. As Great as well. time to come and yes. visit. Yes. Through, yes. The Through the lens. Through the lens. Thank you both for being here today, and good luck this weekend. I know Thank it's going to be Thank absolutely you. wonderful. Come down. Enjoy the festival. Okay. Great work. We'll done do that. Done and done. All right. That's a look at some of the great things that are happening coming up this weekend. We also want to talk about